I use them on a daily basis and I love them. Got right. Excuse the jam jar that it's in. I ran out of my simple moisturizer. Well, not run out of it, but you know when you can only squeeze so much out of it. So I chop it in half and then I scoop it all out. So I make the most of my products and it's amazing how much extra you can get out. I think I did a tip on that once, which if you scroll down in or go to my beauty list, beauty tip playlist, it'll be in there, one of them. Anyway, I just used a simple moisturiser as my moisturiser and do you know, it's really handy in here actually, just, you know, and then whack it on your face. So I use that. And then I follow that if I'm like going out for the full day and I need my makeup to last. I use them anyway. Surprise, surprise. Undress Your Skin Flawless Skin Primer, which is another really nice product. It's clear and it's gloopy but it makes your skin feel so soft and it makes your makeup last and it covers in them pores and things like that so i use that and then i use one of three foundations so again i'd run out no what was it i was going on holiday and i like to take a lot of stuff but in a sensible way if that makes sense so i put things all into like little containers and things like that so it doesn't take much room up so this is the rimmel wake me up foundation that i showed you earlier and basically that is in there that foundation and then i've got the mua and dress your skin one on the go which i just showed you earlier and then i think this is my all-time favorite one and the one that i'll always always go back to it is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid in Ivory, oh, uh, Ivory 010. And this one comes with a pump. It's a brilliant colour payoff. It lasts. It doesn't go clumpy or bitty or like you don't get like an orange bit here and then a perfect bit here. Um, it's a good foundation. And I don't hear many people talking about this and I just love it. So that. Then again, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, which to be honest with you, I use this more as a concealer, actually like dotting any blemishes and things like that. So I've got that. And then my concealers on the go in my makeup bag are again the three that you saw earlier. So I've got the Natural Collection, which is pretty clear now. Why do concealer um, tubes always like rub off? Like, I don't know. And then I've got the, the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer there. And then I have the, ding, 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 whoa, oh, it's in the lid. <laughs> I have got this, which looks like you could do with going in the bin, really, but the natural co collection one, and I think it does because I can't even put the lid on it, so I'm going to chuck that in the bin after this video. And then at the minute, I'm just trying to use stuff up so I don't have loads of stuff, so I'm just finishing off using the uh, natural collection neutral translucent loose powder, which is actually really good. And then it's just a loose powder which helps set your makeup and reduces shine. So that is great. And then in my bag as well, I have got ooh, a pair of tweezers, which everybody knows always comes in handy. I have got an eyebrow brush, which is actually an old um, mascara wand, like a little mascara wand, which I just really gave a good wash and I use it to brush my eyebrows. I think brushing your eyebrows does more than people think it does so if you can brush them little babies and I got a pair of eyelash curlers which are so good and yay we love them and then last but not least I have got can you probably guess what brand it is mascara da, 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 da. the natural collection mascara and this one is the lash length mascara and it's good it does what it says on the tin it does length lengthen your lashes that's what the wand looks like and i flipping love it so that is basically what is in my makeup bag i know it's not much with some people but for me it does what i need to do i keep my other makeup brushes in just an old um like pencil pot that i've got like a, it's like a little denim one with little gems on it and I like to keep them in the packaging still because I feel like it's the best way to keep them just free. And I don't know, well no I haven't done a blog post on these, I've had them about a year. Can you believe it? I took pictures of them when they were brand brand new but I haven't even got around to doing the post yet. I am ridiculous at doing the post but I got them from eBay and they are this brand the Manage Manage 850 and then it tells you what it is like so it's a foundation brush. And 
I just love them. I think they're so good and you get loads and they weren't even that expensive. They're just like random ones. If I can find my most used ones. So I always use this one for filling in my eyebrows and doing um, my uh, like eyeshadow along my lash line. That's the word I wanted to say. And this is actually the eyebrow brush and it's just the pointed angled one. So they just slot in all the fault, their little cases. And then I always use this one. I think this was from Superdrug and it's just like the domed eyeshadow brush basically. And it's really good for putting <coughs> eyeshadow on. And then I use this fluffier one to like blend it all in. And now I'm getting brushes everywhere. And then quite often I use, if I can find it, you get all sorts of brush heads in it. You get like an eyebrow one. Um, and you get little domed ones like this. You get, I, that's an eyeshadow brush it says. Let's see, this one is, I'm not sure, but that's a really fine pointed one. And something else on the other end. I'm not very good at explaining. And then I just use a really, really little one um, to go underneath my lash line. And I can't seem to find it at the minute, but I'm sure it'll be somewhere. So woohoo, look at the mess. They're my makeup brushes. Oh, and I like this and I've used it before even though it doesn't look like I have it is the real techniques your flawless base miracle complexion sponge and my favorite thing about it is it's got Sam and Nick on it from Pixie Woo if you've not seen their channel before go check it out Sam and Nick Chapman Pixie Woo their channel is amazing at the makeup they do the tips they give you the explaining 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 the do of how to create looks and stuff they are just brilliant and lovely to watch so I got this and I love it. So there's like the brush collection. And then this is my like miscellaneous stuff really. This was one pound, one pound from Pound World, Pound Land, everything a pound, one of them shops. I don't know about you, but do you always get confused about which one you've gone in? I'm like, I don't know, it was just one of the pound shops, but I can never remember the name. So anyway, I've got this and it's just like another three tower jar thing. And this is like all random stuff. So in the bottom one, I keep things like this. I keep a clear mascara, which is pretty foggy, but I use this just to set my eyebrows when I've filled them in, which I don't do every day. Um, it's just a clear mascara, basically, and I just run it through your eyebrows, and it helps to keep them set. I've got a spare mascara, and this is a lash uh, definition mascara, and it's like the blacky brown one, because I've got blonde hair. Um... I feel like black's a bit too harsh, so I always like to use like the brownie one because I think it just does more for you. I've got some eyeliners, and I have got the Rimmel London Soft Curl Eye Pencil in this like, does it tell you what colour it is? I don't know. But it's this brownie colour anyway, and it's pretty good. It works well, it lasts well, and I just got some black ones. I got a spare eyeshadow, um, oh not eyeshadow, eye pencil sharpener i got some scissors these are like the nail scissors that just kind of you know peek up a bit and then i got this which is pretty good i like it it's the mua three in one extreme contour liner and it's like an angle angled shadow liner and if you can see on the back it does lets you do different looks so you can do this dramatic look you can do the glamorous look or the ultra chic look and i'll show you what it looks like it's in the color auburn shade number five and so it looks like this it's like rounded and if i move everything out of the way so you just twist it up and it comes out pretty far and it just looks like that and it's like a little square nib and you can color in with it really easily and it's proper easy to use and i'm really rubbish at it but you just color it in really easily Ooh, like that and it does good and it leaves a nice look and it lasts on your uh, eyes for ages and if I can use it anybody can use it so that's the first draw next draw is boring literally all I have in it is a little um, eyeshadow curler you just pull it down and it clamps up and curls your eyelashes and this that I've never really bothered to use a gosh eyeshadow trio like a brown a grey and a cream and it's a bit shimmery I've never really even bothered to use that. And then my top drawer is another random drawer. And here I've got a tape measure. Don't know why. I have got some nail scissors. 
some loads of spare old mascara ones for um, eyebrows I use uh, some clean and clear gels some more nail things and I got this as a free sample from the website you just had to pay a pound for postage and it's a skinetica soothes and climbs and clears clears acne spots pimples and blemishes fast acting skin clearing kind of skin and no side effects it smells really nice it feels nice on your skin and I, to be honest with you I think it kind of does the job it's a really pure liquid you won't be able to see it but it's a pure liquid so I just put a um what's it called earbud thing in and and it basically does the job for you and you put it on and it works you can put it on under your makeup um on top of your makeup before bed and so on and so on and i think it helps spots basically so i've got that that i'm trying and if i really really like it i'm going to consider buying the full size um bottle of it so that's my friends is my makeup collection i know it seems to have taken me forever to show you it all but I know it's not a very big one but I have what I use and that's that basically so if you've got any of the same products as me give this video a thumbs up or leave me in the comments below let me know what you've got or if there's anything that you think I should try um, let me know that as well and I would love to see what you put and say or if you've got a video or a blog post on how you start your makeup I'd really like to see that as well um I'd love to see tips and tricks like I really like the um is it Muji acrylic plastic drawers that load of people use but they're so expensive and basically i think these what i've bought do the, the same job anyway as you can probably tell by now i'm a cheap person by the things that i use and everything but it works for me it's easy to access and it stored well so that is that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do that and i will see you next time goodbye